In the heart of Central Asia, cradled by the towering Pamir Mountains of Tajikistan, lies a remarkable natural monument, Fachenko Glacier, now called Vanch Yach Glacier. At nearly 77 kilometers in length, it is the longest glacier outside the polar regions, a vast river of ice that has shaped landscapes, sustained rivers, and silently recorded the history of climate across centuries. Fachenko is located within the Tajik National Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, recognized for its outstanding natural beauty and its critical importance to global biodiversity and climate science. Fachenko Glacier was first documented in 1878 by Alexei Fachenko. Yet it was not until 1928 that the first major scientific expeditions reached its remote ice. Hidden deep within rugged mountains and extreme terrain, Fachenko remains one of the least accessible glaciers on Earth. Few have seen its full expanse, but the spirit of discovery endures. Today, local guides, intimately familiar with these mountains, lead the way across challenging landscapes. Their knowledge passed down through generations is essential to every expedition seeking to study and protect this fragile environment. Мне вообще нравится природа, да. И это я начал заниматься альпинизмом спортивным вот это где-то 80-е наверное вот тогда. Ну и вот так до сих пор занимаюсь. At the foot of the glacier stands a scientific station, a quiet outpost in the mountains, and a testament to humanity's enduring quest to understand Earth's cryosphere. I'm the first time here, and the uh, atmosphere here is uh, magic. Uh, we imagine how they spend one year here. It's quite uh, interesting, like people would spending here one year from November to November and we just can imagine how cold it was here. The station remains a symbol of the knowledge gained here and a reminder of the importance of continued vigilance in a rapidly changing world. Like glaciers around the globe, Fedchenko is retreating, rising temperatures across Central Asia, faster than the global average, are reshaping the glacier's boundaries. L'impact du réchauffement climatique, en tous les cas, sur le glacier Fedchenko. Euh, je pense qu'on le voit assez fortement parce que ces dernières années, ce qu'on a observé, c'est des amincissements, y compris dans la partie haute du glacier. Et ça, c'est quelque chose qu'on euh, qu pense être assez, euh, assez nouveau et euh, être vraiment un changement lié au, au réchauffement climatique. Donc pour le Fetchenko, dans les prochaines décennies, on, on peut anticiper qu'il va continuer à produire euh, autant d'eau de fonte et voire plus en fait pendant encore quelques décennies avant euh, de se reculer et donc euh, de fournir moins d'eau de fonte euh, malgré un, un climat plus chaud. Fetchenko's meltwaters feed the Amu Darya River, a critical artery for millions of people in Central Asia. This river once nourished the Aral Sea, but today that connection is broken, the result of decades of intense human pressure on the region's water systems. The Aral Sea, once among the world's largest inland bodies of water, is now vanishing. Fachenko's health is intertwined with the future of water security, livelihoods, and ecological resilience across Central Asia. Far from major cities and seldom seen, Fachenko Glacier quietly connects distant landscapes and generations. Its ice holds the story of our past, and its retreat signals a call for our future. Climate change knows no borders, and it is our responsibility to understand, protect, and act to safeguard the future for generations to come.